What's up guys? Welcome to part four of the Tesla clone. Uh, in the last lesson, we created uh, this text where it says model three and this paragraph, these buttons and this bouncing icon. And so next what we want to do is just when you hover, if we go to the Tesla website and if you hover over anything, you can see in the bottom left corner, it says tesla.com. If I hover over model S, it will take you to Model S, Model 3, Model X. Um, when you hover over touchless delivery, it takes us somewhere, same with the buttons. So what we wanna do for our clone is just link, link out to all these. So if someone clicks on our clone, that it takes them to that page. So we'll work on that. So let's move this down. We'll target our nav bar. So go into your nav bar. And the first one we'll look at is Tesla. So what we're gonna do is we are going to do uh, href and we'll say equals and this will be https colon tesla.com sweet and we'll go ahead and close that let's copy the ending tag we'll put it down here let's format all right so there we go so if we go into our react app if we hover over tesla you can see tesla.com we click it Tesla, go back to ours. Sweet, so that's working. So let's just continue going through. So we will, to make this easier on ourselves, let's copy this and we will come in here and we'll just paste it in, paste that, paste that, paste that there. Awesome, and then this is gonna be Model S, this one's going to be Model 3, Model X, and slash Model Y, and then right here at the end, let's go ahead and close that, and we will copy, just paste that in. So sexy should be done. So now let's look, make sure we're in our, our clone. When we look, we see model S, nothing, reload. There we go, it's showing up now. So now let's click model S. You can see it takes us to model S, model three, takes us to model three. Beautiful, all right, so those are working. So let's just keep cranking on this. We can, copy this I forgot we had solar roof right here so we'll just come in here paste that in there and here we'll say model S this will be solar roof and this one will be slash solar panels and hopefully you didn't do the same bug as I have right there. Right, solar roof, solar panels. Copy this and we will close, close. Perfect, let's make sure that that works. Solar roof, sweet, solar panels, awesome. So let's just keep going down if we go to shop, what are we looking at? Shop.tesla.com and then this is Tesla account. So let's just do shop.tesla.com. We will scroll down. Let's see. I already had those A tags in there. Might as well throw those in there. Let's copy this. Right. Oh, and for the menu, we're gonna leave that blank. So we're gonna leave that blank because if we go to the website, the menu does not have it. And when you click, we have this side drawer that opens. So we're gonna tackle that um, in the next lesson. So we'll close that. Let's go back to our React app and we will go to shop. So this one right here is gonna be shop 
Tesla.com. And this one was Tesla account, I believe. Perfect. Let's let's try it. Make sure it works. So if we go to shop, that's right. Go back account. Yep. All good. All right. Next, let's look at this touchless delivery. So that was in our model component. So we will go to model. And then we are going to come down and find this online order online for touchless delivery. So right here, paste that in. We'll take the A tag. We'll go to the end. Right here, put that in there. Now let's go to the Tesla website. Um, Cause this link looked long, so we'll just right click and we will say copy link address and we will come in here. And let's just paste that in here so we don't have to type it. Perfect. Let's go into our react app. Let's give it a try. So if we click it, perfect. That's working. Go back. <laughs> All right. You know what? Let's make this a little bit bigger so you can see better. All right. Next is the, we have these two buttons. So let's go ahead and see what we have in our clipboard nope not what we want so we'll just write them out again so right here we'll say a href equals perfect put that in there copy that go to the end that was the end of our button put that there put that there that drop that in there let's go command a we're gonna format this go back to our our button and then our hrefs let's go ahead and go to the tesla website and we'll do the same thing so for custom order let's right click and we'll say copy link address so for custom order we'll put that in there and then existing inventory right click copy link address and we will Put that in there all right let's go back to our app let's do our final check custom order perfect and existing inventory all right so now everything's working and as i mentioned the next thing we'll tackle is the sidebar so we'll see you then see you guys since that last video was a little short i thought i'd throw on a little bonus so I'm a little uh, whore for <laughs> favicons. I love favicons. So right now, our says React app, and it has this you know, React icon here. I want the Tesla logo. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go to the Tesla website. We're gonna hit Command Option I for inspect. Let's go ahead and make this bigger. And we are gonna go to the Network tab and we are gonna go to other let's go ahead and reload the page and you can see when it reloads we get this favicon so we can right click and we can say save image as it's going to download this favicon.ico so we'll come over here into our project and you can see it says favicon.ico so we're just going to replace it so i'm going to grab it i went to my other screen but here it is and we're going to drop it in there, replace, and you can see here, now we have the same favicon, looks awesome. We can come in here to our index, and we can say, uh, this says some stuff here, but we'll just, you know, to make sure people know that they're not on the actual Tesla website, we can just say Tesla clone. Cool. Now it says Tesla clone. We got the icon. I'm done. This, this lesson is ending. See you guys.